It's time for SHL News. So we just finished off week 10. In our first game this week, we had Hooters Nana versus The Aware. Hooters Nana were coming into this week on a three-game losing streak. One of the problems that they've been having was finding a goaltender for their games with Dream being away with the Thai national team. They've done okay with Pop, and they've done okay with Neng, but they need to find somebody full-time. They'll also need their top-level players, Paul Stoddart and Steven Sproul, to keep up their great work, and their second-level players, Andy Bryan, Justin St. Denis, and Michael White, to bring their games up as we head into the second half of the season. To be fair to Hooters Nana, though, they were missing quite a few players due to the long weekend and people going out, on, out of town with their, fa- with their family. Hooters Nana had Gabor Toth in the net for them again in this game. Aware came into this game on a four-game losing streak. They have a lot of talent on this team, and Yves Gabarro has been incredible between the pipes. They've also been struggling with the loss of players to the Thai national team as well. Their first-level guys, Brendan Vick Patrick, and Patrick Lumbeck, have to keep up their great work, and their second-level guys, Devin Michael, Darren Boodle, and Corey Day, need to bring their game play up for the second half of the season as well. The first period started off well with lots of chances for the aware. The first goal came at 12.45 with a goal from Brennan, with the assist going to Darren. Hooters Nana answered back with an unassisted goal from Jordan Newman at 10.25. Aware scored a goal-ahead goal at 9.10 by Patrick from Darren and Bill Bredesen. The end of the first period saw Hooters Nana 1 with 6 shots and Aware 2 with 16 shots. In the second period, Hooters Nana tied it up at 9 minutes with an unassisted goal from Michael White. At 3.20, Aware took the lead again with a goal from Corey Day, which was assisted by Patrick and Ryan Haynes. With 1.40 left in the second period, Darren Boodle widened the lead with the assist going to Brandon. 40 seconds later, Hooters bring it back within one when Gary Cosby scored the goal with the assist going to Justin. The second period ended with Hooters Nana 3 with 18 shots and Aware 4 with an amazing 31 shots. Three minutes into the third period, Hooters tied it up with a goal from Andy Bryan, which was assisted by La and Sebastian Ranger. Things were pretty solid from both goaltenders at this point, and it was looking like we were going to head into another overtime matchup. But with five seconds left in the game, Corey slipped one past Gabor to seal and clinch the win. The final score of the game was Hooters Nana, 4, with 25 shots, and Aware, 5, with 47 shots. What an amazing game and amazing finish for the Aware to finally break their losing streak. The Rolling Stone player of the game went to Darren Boodle for getting one goal and two assists in his hard-fought victory for the Aware, and I had a chance to catch up with him after the game. I have the Rolling Stone player of the game from the Aware, Darren Boodle. Congratulations. Thank you very much. First time here. Really? Feels good, finally. Excellent. So, two goals. What's going on? I finally got lucky. Uh, teammates were really generous today, so... Yeah, puck luck, I guess. Yeah. You did, I looked a great game from my side, so congratulations again. Yeah, thank you. It was a good game. In our second game, we had the Sukhumvit Spitfires facing off against Sport Corner Titanium. Sukhumvit Spitfires came into this game on a three-game winning streak. They've had lots of great goaltending from Lance Parker, who has become their full-time goaltender with Jason Kotzmeyer out for the rest of the season with a torn MCL. They've also been getting lots of support from behind the bench with their captain, Brad Poldark Wilson, while he's out with an upper body injury. Spitfires have really turned their game around over the last few weeks and gone from last place to second place, and this is coming from the great gameplay by Lance, Donnie Kerfoot, and Adrian Myers. For them to keep up their winning, they will also need their second level guys, Ernesto Bauer, Scott Murray, Obe, Dave McBurney and David Bauer to continue putting in putting up points. They'll also need to f- find a way to stop the likes of John Silky Metsiknowski, Mike Wilson, and Zach Garofolo. But having Garrett Howden back from vacation should help them quite a bit. It will be hard for them this week with missing quite a few guys due to the long weekend and members of their team being away with their family. Sport Corner Titanium came into this week solidly leading the league with 16 points. They've had some amazing net mining by Gabor and amazing teamwork all the way around for these guys. 
For them to remain strong, Gabber will have to stay strong between the pipes as well as Mike and Zach to remain strong as well as their strong defensive work from the likes of DJ Sherman, Remo Nefenegar, and Yari Eikernainen, and Arkady Gancharov. They'll also have to see Mike and Zach stepping up their game a bit with Silky Mets being out this week. Things look good for Sport Corner Titanium with Yoni back on the ice after being out for a few weeks with a lower body injury. Things started off with a bang at 3.40 in the first period when Yoni scored the first goal, which was assisted by Mike. At 10.20, the Sukhumvit Spitfires answered back with a goal from David Bohr, which was assisted by Jason Bitter and Harrison Ostmel. At 6.48, Garrett Howden was called for tripping, but the Spitfires really showed off their penalty kill by keeping the shots down and not allowing any goals. The Spitfires got a second chance to show off their penalty kill abilities when David Bohr was called at 3.45, also for tripping. With 30 seconds left in the period, the Spitfires take a lead with a goal from Simon Rinlisbacher, which was assisted by Ernesto Bauer. The end of the first period saw the score of Spitfires 2 with 9 shots and Sport Corner Titanium 1 with 8 shots. 50 seconds into the second period saw Sport Corner Titanium tie it up with an unassisted goal from Rob Taylor. At 7.18, DJ was called for a hand on the puck in the crease, which gave the Sukhumvit Spitfires a penalty shot. The shot was taken by Garrett Howden and scoring to give the Spitfires the lead again. At 5.12, Rob was called for tripping, which set up an unassisted power play goal by Adrian. With 30 seconds left in the period, Ernesto scored an unassisted goal also. The end of the second period saw the Sukhumvit Spitfires 4, Spork Corner Titanium 2. Two minutes into the second period, Garrett was called for his second penalty. Cross-checking, and the Spitfires got to show off their penalty kill prowess as they killed off this penalty as well. At 9-10, Sport Corner Titanium pulled within one goal when Yari scored an unassisted goal. At 5-20, Ernesto scored his second unassisted goal of the night. With two minutes left in the game, Sport Corner Titanium pulled Gabar to try to bring it close again. With five seconds left in the game, Jason tipped one into the empty net with the assist going to Adrian. The Rolling Stone player of the game went to Ernesto Bauer with his two goals and one assist, and I had a chance to talk to him after the game. I have the Rolling Stone player of the game, Ernesto Bauer. Congratulations. Thank you. Wow, 7-4. to four. What a game. Yeah, the game was really good. And the beginning, we played really good. In the last part, we lost a little bit our game, but in the end, we keep it and we score right uh, we start to score again and in the end we win yeah and you got two goals yes two goals and one assist oh it was really good and we have been playing really good the last four games we won in a row and yeah i'm looking forward to play with our team excellent all right congratulations going into week 11 at 8 30 we have the sukhumvit spitfires going against hooters nana Sukhumvit Spitfires are coming into this game on a four-game winning streak. Lance has been doing an amazing job in the net for them, and Adrian has gotten back to putting the puck in the net. That, and with Garrett being back on the ice, they're looking again like a really strong team. If they have Donnie and Alistair back with them next week, they'll truly be a force to be reckoned with. Hooters Nana are on a rough four-game losing streak, with losing some close ones. They will need to really find a way to battle back, one way for them to do this will be for them to find a solid goaltender to back them up. They'll also need to see them really pull together as a team for this one. The last time they faced off against each other, they were blown out by the Spitfires 8-3, so they'll need to learn from that game and really start putting things together. At 9.30, we have the Sport Corner Titanium facing off against the Aware. Sport Corner Titanium are coming off a crushing loss to the Spitfires last week, and they will need to regroup and for Gabor to remain strong. They have done really well against the Aware so far this season, owning the series three games to none. As long as everybody shakes off the loss from this past week, they should be right back on the road to recovery. Aware are coming into this game after winning an amazing game against Hooters Nana last week, and they will want to keep building on that. To do this, they'll not have to think about how the series has gone so far this season and focus on what they've been doing well. Also, they'll need Christoph Olofsson and Rob Taylor to stay out of the box for this one to help contribute to the team. Both games look really good for this week with lots of expected action in them. Should be a lot of fun to watch, and I'll see you at the rink.